All right, advanced math eight, we got lesson 9.2.1. We're going to graph two variable inequalities. This is where it starts to get kind of fun. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to graph y equals negative 2x plus 3. So let's go ahead and put a coordinate plane here, get our x-axis and our y-axis. I'm just going to put it right here because that makes me happy. All right, so it's in slope-intercept form, which is nice. So it looks like our y-intercept is 3. So 1, 2, 3. And then it looks like our slope is negative 2 over 1. So our slope triangle would go down 2 over 1. Boom. Down 2 over 1. Boom. Down 2 over 1. Boom. Down 2 over 1. All right. And I could go up, one, up 2 and back 1. If you're feeling saucy, you can do that. And so this is our line. Question, is the point negative 1, 5 a solution? Well, a solution, so negative 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yes, it is a solution. Now, how can you tell? Well, there's two ways you could tell. Way number one, if the point's on the line, it's a solution. Second way that you can tell, you can plug the point into the equation and see if it makes a true statement. If I plug negative 1 here, neg negative 2 times negative 1 is 2, 2 plus 3 is 5. So it makes a true statement if I plug it in. Sweet, moving on. Is 2, negative 1 a solution? Well, again, I could plug it up here. So 2 would give me negative 4 plus 3 is negative 1. Yes, I'm getting that. And I can look over here, 2, negative 1. So yes, that is a solution. What about 0, 0? Mm, the origin is not one of our solutions. And if we plug it in here, we get 0 equals 3, so no. What determines if a point is on the line? Uh, well, whether or not it's a solution of the equation. Okay, so that's what determines if it belongs on this line. If it works in this equation, it belongs on this line. Next, what if you want to graph the solutions to the same exact thing, except now you use greater than or equal to symbol? Hmm. Interesting. Well, we know in order for it to work, it has to work for this equation. So how can you tell if the points on the graph are solutions of the inequality? Well, you would plug them in to the inequality. All right, find five points that are a solution of the inequality. Okay, let's not find five points on the line because we're going to get to that in a second. Let's just find five random points. We'll look for easy ones. Let's try um, 2, 2. So does 2, 2 work? If I plug in a 2 here, I get negative 2 times 2 is negative 4. Negative 4 plus 3 is negative 1. And then I get 2, negative 1. 2 is bigger than negative 1. So 2, 2 would work. What about 0, 0? Let's go below the line. 0, 0. So I would get 0 is greater than 3. Nah, that doesn't work. 
So it looks like I've got a point above the line that works. So this point right there, we'll use blue. So there's 2, 2 right there. That works. We tried 0, 0. That did not work. Let's try another point above the line. Let's go up to here. Let's try this point right there. That's the point 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So let's try 0, 4. 0, so this side's 3, 4. 4 is greater than 3. That does work. So 0, 4 works because when I plug it in, I get 4 is greater than 3 because negative 2 times 0 is 0. So 4 is greater than 3. So that works. So there's a second point that works. All right, we've now found two points above that line that are working. So let's find another point that might work. Let's try, let's try this point right here. It looks like 1, 2, 3, 0. Let's see if 3, 0 works. If I plug into 3 here, I get negative 6 plus 3, so that's negative 3. And this is 0. 0 is greater than negative 3. Ah, that one works. So the point 3, 0 works. See, the pattern here is that every point that I'm picking above the line is ending up working. So if I plugged in 2, 4, oops, wrong color, 2, 4, that should also work. And it does. Because if I plug in 2 here, remember I got negative 1, and then this side is 4. So that one works. If I plugged in, I don't know, 3, 3. This one also works. 3 gives me negative 6 plus 3, which is negative 3. And this is 3. 3 is greater than negative 3. So 3, 3 works. What we're seeing here is all of the numbers above that line seem to be working. Are the points on the line solutions? Yes, because the equal to sign right there. That equal to sign says that the points on the line will also work. So, yes. The symbol includes equal to. And equal to is that line. So where are all the solutions located relative to the line? They're all above the line. And the line itself. So the solutions to this inequality is any point that is above this line or the line itself. So the shaded area and the line itself represents our solutions. All right, so show the solutions we just did. We did it on this graph over there. All right, what would happen if we change the inequality sign to be less than? Let's show what would happen in this case. Two things are going to change in our graph. First of all, it doesn't have the equal to sign anymore. So if it doesn't have the equal to sign, the points on the line are no longer solutions. So this point here at our y-intercept, that's not a solution. If I go down two over one, not a solution. Over here, not a solution, not a solution, not a solution, not a solution, and not a solution. So how do we show that it's not a solution? What we do instead of making the solid line like the one above is we would make a dotted line. 
This is indicating that any point on the line is not a solution. So those are not solutions. So where are the solutions? Are they above the line or are they below the line? Well, let's plug in 0, 0. I always like to plug in that one because it's easy. So if I plug in 0, 0, I get 0 is less than 3, and 0 is less than 3. So that tells me that all of my solutions are below this line, but not on the line itself. So dotted line, those are not solutions. Shaded area, those are the solutions. So it's basically the opposite of the solutions of this previous one here. All right, last four problems. All right, so we're going to graph each of those, and then we're going to show where the solutions are. So let's do... Here, that looks good. Y-intercept is at negative 1 there, so I'm going to go down 1. And my slope is negative 1 over 3, so my slope triangle would be down 1 and over 1, 2, 3. Down 1 over 1, 2, 3. Or I can go up 1 and backwards 3. Up 1, backwards 1, 2, 3. Okay, so don't get carried away and start drawing your lines. You have to look and see if it is equal to. This cannot be equal to. So all of these points that we just wrote down are not solutions. So we would make a dotted line. And now we have to decide, are our answers above the line or below the line? I like to pick, like I said before, 0, 0. So let's plug in 0, 0. If I plug in 0, 0, I get 0 is less than, if I plug in 0 there, I got 0, or 0 is greater than <laughs> negative 1. Is 0 greater than negative 1? Yes, it is. So 0, 0 is a solution, which means everything above the line is a solution. So there's all my solutions up there. The dotted line means those are not solutions. The shaded area means that's where we can find all the other solutions. Any point in that shaded area is a solution for this inequality. Next. All right, our y-intercepts at 2, so we're going to go up 2. Our slope is 4. That means the slope is 4 over 1 for our slope triangle. So we're going to go up 1, 2, 3, 4 over 1. And then we would go down 1, 2, 3, 4, backwards 1. 1, 2, 3, yeah, that's right. Okay, oh, it can be equal to. So I'm going to make this a solid line. Make sure to check that before you make this line here to see if it's going to be a solid line or a dotted line. Okay. Now we need to see where our answers are. Well, 0, 0 is below the line, so I'm going to double check 0, 0. So if I plug in a 0 here, 0 here, that's 0. So I get 0 is less than or equal to 2. So if I plug in 0, 0, is 0 less than 2? Yes, it is. So that means that 0, 0 is where my answers are. So everything below the line is an answer for this one. And everything on the line is an answer for that one. All right, last two. Okay, so graphing this one. <laughs> Where am I going to put it? Let's put it right here. 
All right, so my y-intercept's at three, so I go up one, two, three. Now pay attention, we're not gonna make a solid line here because it's not equal to, so it's gonna be dotted. So this one's gonna go up five and over two, so one, two, three, four, five, one, two, and down one, two, three, four, five, one, two. Not gonna be solid, dotted, okay. So this means that these, anything on this dotted line is not a solution. And now we need to decide, do we shade above it or below it? And I usually use zero, zero. So here's zero, zero, the origin. So let's plug in. I get zero, this is still zero. Is zero less than three? Yes, zero is less than three. This doesn't always work, like zero isn't, zero, zero isn't always a solution. It just so happens to work. I'm wondering if the last one's gonna be like that too. No, no, we'll see. All right, last one. Okay, you have options for graphing this last one. Oh, this is weird, why'd I do that? All right, so we got options for graphing it. You can graph using the intercepts if you want to. That could be a possibility, you know, because your x-intercept would be 2x is equal to 5, which would be 2.5. So we could graph using our intercepts if we want to, or we can put it into slope-intercept form. Let's put it into slope-intercept form just to see what happens. So let's subtract 2x from both sides. We get negative y is less than or equal to negative 2x plus 5. Then I'm going to divide by negative 1. Remember what happens when we multiply or divide by a negative, it flips the sign. So this is going to become greater than or equal to positive 2x minus 5. So we're going to go our y-intercepts negative 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Well, I barely made it. And then we're going to go up 2 and over 1, up 2 and over 1, up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1, so on and so forth. It can be equal to, so this will be a solid line. And now we just have to shade it. Question is, do we shade above or below? Let's try 0, 0. If I plug in 0 here, I get 0 minus 0 is less than or equal to 5. Yes, 0 is less than 5. It worked every single time. It doesn't always work like that. Sometimes you have to shade the other direction, but I don't know. It worked every single time. So there's where our solutions would be. The end. Math hard. I will see you guys next week. Bye-bye.